the all new Redmi K20 Pro is definitely a great phone for the price. It has the top of the line hardware and it runs on MIUI 10 based on Android Pie right out of the box. But you can make it even better by installing the right selection of apps and that's what we are going to talk about in this video. Hi guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and let's take a look at the top 10 apps you should download on your Redmi K20 Pro right away. Let's kick things off with our usual recommendations, apps that you must have on each and every Android device that you use. First, there's Snapseed, one of the most capable image editing apps out there. It's packed with a ton of tools, presets, filters and more additional features that will help you get your photos Instagram ready. It's fairly easy to use and in case you have any issues figuring out, you can always visit our website at guidingtech.com for some handy tutorials that will make things simpler for you. I've been using the app for quite some time now and I can assure you that it can make a masterpiece for just about any image you throw at it. Speaking of masterpieces, the SMS Organizer app from Microsoft Garage is nothing short of fun. It's another one of my favorite apps to recommend for all the Android users and for a good reason. The app's fairly straightforward. It takes all your incoming messages and automatically categorizes them into different folders. Personal messages go into your personal folders, all your transaction updates go to the transaction folder and the rest of the junk is dumped into the promotional folder. Now I know it doesn't sound as impressive but you need to use the app to know what you have been missing out on. However, there is one major downside. The app is only available in the Indian market so if you are based anywhere outside India, you should check out Textra instead. It doesn't include that SMS organization features, but it's definitely better than using stock SMS app of the K20 Pro. Now that we are done with standard recommendations, let's talk about some device specific apps that will surely improve your overall experience on the K20 Pro. First, there's the Rootless Launcher, an excellent app for those of you who aren't big fan of the Poco Launcher and would much rather wait to have a stock Android experience. With the launcher, you'll be able to get a pixel-like interface on your K20 Pro without the need to root your device and then install a custom ROM. It has a clean and minimal interface, a persistent search bar at the bottom and wallpaper-based theme selection for an aesthetic look. The launcher also includes support for third-party icon packs along with adaptive icons, but the best part about using it is the Google Now feed that you get to the left of your home screen. However, in order to get the feed, you'll first need to install the rootless pixel bridge APK from the link in the description and enable the display Google app settings in the launcher. Next up, there is the bottom quick settings, another useful app that will really come in handy if you are facing issues with one handed usage. Just as the name suggests, the app brings down the notification and quick access panel to the bottom of the screen, making it easier to access with a single hand. No need for any awkward shuffling to get to the top of the screen. The app also changes the appearance of the panel giving it a stock Android look so you can combine it with the rootless launcher and completely get rid of any traces of MIUI except for the setting of course. Now I'm sure if you are taking your time to customize the phone, changing the wallpaper is probably one of the first things you'll do and for that you should try out Backdrops, an app that offers a great selection of high quality wallpapers. On the app, you'll get everything from minimal geometric wallpapers to dark amulet friendly ones that you can use to spice up your home screen. And the wallpaper library is refreshed quite frequently so that you'll never run out of the new wallpapers to try. Next up, we have the Kiwi browser, which is a great replacement for the stock MIUI browser that I'm sure most of you would not use. It's a Chromium based browser that packs in a ton of amazing features which are sure to level up your entire browsing experience. With the browser, you'll get highly customized interface, a dedicated night mode, a built-in ad blocker that you must use and most importantly, Chrome extension support with which you'll be able to bring your favorite desktop extension to your phone. Isn't that great? Now, much like the browser, I'm not a huge fan of the stock media player of MIUI which is why I have got two replacement apps that will do a better job. For music, there's the Boom Music Player, a great alternative that you can use if you want to listen your music online or even offline. The app includes some really cool features 
most notably a 3D surround sound technology which makes your music sound a lot more impressive. On top of that, the app also lets you stream music from Spotify and Tidal so that you don't need a separate app for the purpose. For videos, there's the KM Player, which packs in support for almost all the video formats and audio codecs, along with some nifty features that will let you watch videos stored on your phone or stream them directly from YouTube without the need to download them first. It has all the tools that you can possibly need while playing a video on the phone and even has a dedicated dark mode, which is cool. Now, while we are on the topic of watching videos, let's also talk about making videos. And I'm sure you already know that you can capture 4K videos with the K20 Pro. But once you are done with that, you don't get a capable enough video editor to help you polish that footage. For that, all you need is Filmora Go, one of the best free video editors on the Play Store. It's easy to use, has ton of handy features, and you can even use it to directly publish your videos on Instagram or YouTube. So if you're planning to make videos for TikTok or Instagram, you shouldn't skip this app. Now, speaking of Instagram, have you started following us yet? In case you haven't, just click on the link in the description below and head over to our profile. We post some really cool photos on daily, basis and we also host some exclusive Instagram giveaways that you would not want to miss out on. But now let's get back to the last app for your K20 Pro and that's the Google Camera Mod. I'm sure most of you have already heard about the mod for other devices but you'd be surprised to know that the modded APK is also available for the K20 Pro. Once you have installed it on your phone, I can assure you that you'll notice a major difference in the quality of the photographs. The Google Camera Mod is vastly superior in almost all conditions, but you just have to tweak the right settings. Now, if you haven't used it on your device before, be prepared to have your mind blown. Yes, it's that good. So, well, that rounds up for today's video. As always, you'll find links of all the apps in the description below. Make sure you drop a like on your way there and subscribe to the channel for more amazing app recommendations like this one. This is Ashish signing off. See you in the next one, fellas. Bye-bye.